Yeah. You got on, you came into the department in 96. Yes. The world was rocked and changed forever in 01. Where were you on September 11th, 2001? Yeah, so like I said, when you the greatest thing about the fire department is we can you can have a lot of free time off. So with that free time off, I used to work a lot of jobs. I used to still dance with my dance company. Um, I used to take acting classes. Um, one of the jobs I had was doing security for Fashion Week at Bryant Park. Yes, so I used to escort. I remember I escorted Michael Jackson's mom, um, Serena Williams, Puffy. Dame, I used to escort like a lot of the celebrities into these high, these fashion shows. So I was uh, there with another firefighter. Uh, and when the first plane hit, this guy had about 10 years on. Um, and the guys running the show were court officers, retired, a lot of court officers. And they came up to me and they said, hey, it's a total recall. You got to go to work. I'm young. I only have five years on the job at that time. I didn't even know what a total recall was. Um, and I remember on 42nd and 6th Avenue, it's a Starbucks now, it used to be a radio shack. And I remember running over the radio shack, they had all the TVs in the window and they kept showing the plane hitting this building. And you know, I'm looking at a TV, it don't look real. But then uh, me and my man, we jumped in my car, uh, we drove up 6th Avenue. I remember seeing a van that was crushed. And this guy was like, oh, something fell out the sky, hit my van. Drove up 6th Avenue, jumped to Central Park, up behind 10th Street, I dropped him off at his firehouse, which was four blocks from mine. I went to my firehouse. Uh, they loaded us all up on a bus. Uh, we took the West Side Highway down. By the time I got down there, building one and building two had come down. So we had started to evacuate, um, I think building seven. Um, and it was at that time when I'm looking at building seven and it's on fire and I remember and the chief being like, everybody get out, it's coming down. And I was like, no way in the world is building coming down. Like it's not coming down. And then all of a sudden it just said, do, 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 do. And everybody started running. But um, I, I ended up being down there for, for a long time after that. Um, lost a couple of good friends. Uh, I had a brother named Sean Powell, who's from engine 207. He worked in my firehouse for a year, but then he transferred back to Brooklyn. Um, had another, my first captain, Patty Brown, he was in my firehouse when I first got there, but then he went to another firehouse, um, Steve Bates, he responded from Brooklyn. Um, and then I also spent two years in Brooklyn also. So a whole lot of brothers, Leon Smith, Vernon Cherry, Davison. Um, there's a lot of good dudes that I knew, um, that, that passed away. And because, you know, we didn't have a large number of African-Americans, all 12 black firefighters that died in 9-11, I kind of personally had a relationship with all of them. Oh, man. You, you know, you just skated through this and I'm going to back you up for just a little bit because it, this is, it, it had to be a life-changing moment for you personally. I remember at the time, you know, I am heavily in the music industry, uh, working at Bad Boy Records, and we didn't, you know, I didn't have to be in the office until 10 a.m. And I remember that day, literally about on my way down, about to leave the house, and I see these, and, and it's just surreal, right? It, 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 it is surreal. So you don't know what to make of this because you ain't never seen nothing like this in your lifetime. So I'm calling around and I'm, do we still got to go into work? Like, I'm not taking it. And the gravity and the magnitude of it, it didn't hit me yet. And I remember when I finally did make it to Manhattan, every, and I think that this is when, yes, it hit me because I watched the buildings drop on television. But if you lived in New York at that time, going into Manhattan and seeing all of those missing signs, that for, for me, that's when, yes, I saw what happened on television, like most people, but walking through a vacant Manhattan and seeing people everywhere with thousands of flyers, putting them up on poles. Have you seen such and such? That's when it all started to be like, like, damn, like, 3,000 lives were lost. Like these people are not coming back. Yeah. 
as you are going down that West Side, high, like when did it become real for you? Like, I, I understand that you were down there to talking about, you know, building one and building two dropped already. You you mentioned that uh, your captain was saying, get out of building set. Like, when did you? Yeah, it didn't hit me until, I don't know how many days after a friend of mine came up to me in a firehouse and he knew I was, he knew me and Sean Powell were really close. Um, and he came up to me um, and he's like, yo, Dude, here's the list that everybody missing. Sean Powell's on the list. So I took out my cell phone. I called like Sean Powell ain't on the list. I called a number and Sean Powell didn't answer. I think um, that's when it really, really sunk in. I was like, yo, um, because I, I think I believed that we was just gonna find everybody somewhere under the rubble. Um, but when I saw the list, the paper list of all of these pages and the names, uh, and I remember I went up to the top floor in the firehouse and I probably cried. Um, but that's when it really hit me that something wasn't right. Wow. Yeah, my condolences. And again, man, I got to thank you for your serve. Like that, that, that moment in time is, uh, you know, it stands alone in the history of our planet. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.